Hello, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube. How's everybody making out this morning? It is 9.30 a.m. over here in good old southern New Jersey. And, uh, yeah, guys, uh, we got quite a bit, not really a whole lot to talk about, but enough. Uh, in the weather department, we have 60-mile-an-hour winds coming in. We've got wet snow, rain. Um, and it's going to be nasty. Temperatures are going to plummet. They said it hasn't been this cold in 10 years for Christmas. That's what the weather people say. So it's not going to make for that much fun, um, in the outside department as far in, as far as doing anything outdoors. Um, you're pretty much going to have to hunker down, uh, where we're at. Anyway, um, we're going to talk about these Devo knives. I'm going to give you my final review, if that's what you're going to call it, or I am going to put my two cents in what I think about these growlers. Yes, Devo knives, growlers. Left the EDC and um, Colin Mason Pierre are the designers on these knives and they make up Devo knives. So, in long story short, we're just gonna break it down quickly and we're gonna go over and I'm gonna let you guys get down the road cause I know everybody is busy. So, if you've got five or 10 minutes, I'd greatly appreciate your time. And uh, let's go ahead and move forth with the video. What we are looking at here is a 14C 28N blade, hole deployment, very nice uh, Devo knives. Um, they give you a nice uh, decorative pivot there with their logo in the middle. You've got that nice black uh, ring on the outside of it. Micarta scales. Everything is flush. You can see the reverse for the pocket clip. Um, they recessed that really, really nicely done. Um, everything's pretty, I mean, spot on. This is all chamfered off up top here. You can see uh, the blade. I'll give you a look at that blade stock thickness. Really, really nice. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is 14C28N, guys, and I'm telling you, uh, I just want to show you guys. I've been cutting with this a lot. Um, I stropped it, and it just, I mean, I can't explain to you guys enough what for, how sharp this 14C28N steel gets. I, I can only tell you guys and keep on drilling it but man look at that look at how i got that edge um dialed in that that's pretty pretty nice bevel that's a pretty nice looking bevel isn't it um trying to give you guys the best look at it that i can um i use my strop block i swear by that strop um if you're looking to sharpen or if you're looking to hone your knives Please, man, I, I always, um, there are certain products that I really, really am impressed with and I always push. One of them is the Strop Block. And um, it, it already comes preloaded and that sucker will get your knife as sharp as the dickens, man, I'm telling you. And if you work with it enough with that Strop, I'm telling you, maybe it's in my head, but you can get like a semi, like a little bit of a polish on that edge. You can get a little bit of a polish on that edge if you just keep working the strop and you're using it properly. Um, which I have a video I want to do on that strop block. Again, I have videos out on it already, but I just want to show you again that strop. Um, pocket clip here is when I first got it, it was a little tight and I wasn't sure about it. And I was hoping and wishing for a milled clip, but you know something, this one is just fine. It rides super low. It's, you could see it. It's really, 
no uh, effect in your hand because it's so um, low riding. You can see. Um, so in your hand, it's you don't it's zero effect. You don't even feel it in your hand. Nothing. You don't feel that clip in your hand. Um, so yeah, that's the pocket clip. You've got um, recess screws. So they did recess the screws, which is well appreciated. Um, like I said, you've got this micarta. Micarta is nice. I, I, I think it's just quite fine. Um, the lockup department. Now, I'm telling you, I have flicked this thing a thousand times. And the lockup on it pretty much, pretty much stayed right as it uh, was. It might have moved a hair. Um, but lockup is, is fantastic on it. It's all the way engaged. Uh, it's completely engaged. Um, so that the lockup is fantastic where it is. Actually, I prefer a little bit earlier of a lockup. Um, I do not like late lockup or even if it's over 50% and stuff like that. I don't like it. I just like to see that early lockup. That's me personally. Um, what else can I talk about with this knife? Uh, the uh, choil um, in the hand. It's just ergonomically, in my opinion, in my opinion, with this big choil here, and you got your finger in there. I'm going to show you. You got a beautiful purchase. Nice, nice purchase in hand very very comfortable i really think it is very very comfortable no jimping up top here i don't think it's necessary you know what i mean that's just me um if it were up there either or i would accept it or like as it is fine it doesn't bother me it's not going to make or break the knife you know what i mean it's because there's jimping up there you know whatever i could i could take it or leave it one of them type deals um i really can't stress enough how sharp this steel is i am just very very that's the most impressed i am on this knife if i had to pick one thing that would really be impressed impressive to me it would be this steel because it actually got uh, vicious, viciously sharp. Um, it's one of the sharpest uh, knives that I received out of the box. Um, it's one. It's got to be right there with one of the sharpest knives that I received. Um, it's very, very, very sharp. And I'm curious on all the other people that received one of these if their knives came as sharp you know what i mean i'm just curious so anyway uh what else can we talk about in the action department the action now i heard a lot of people well not a lot of people but uh some people say that the detent uh was light on these and um i don't find that to be uh with the ones i got i just i don't have a problem with the one, you know, with what I received, I'll show you, you know, it sucks in there pretty good. Um, like Kevin said, can we um, have stronger detent? Yes, we all want, we all want better and better and better and better detent, right? But what's on here now, I don't want to hit anything when I flick it out there. We'll try and I mean, I could get this thing um, to pretty much just rock it out of there. I mean, it just, no problem whatsoever. I want to move this out of the way. Oh, I'm afraid I'm going to hit something on my... But I just want to show you the action, how the action is. Just really, really dialed in. Nice and smooth, very fluid. You can see it just shoots right on out of there. I got no problem. Uh, 
with deployment. A lot of other people were complaining about the hole was too big and their finger was getting stuck in there and they were having extreme difficulties deploying. I don't find that to be the case. Again, um, it's it, it it takes a second when you first get this knife just to adjust, you know what I mean? Um, to where your finger feels comfortable in the hole and, and how it's going to flick. You know what I mean? You just, when you first get it, you gotta figure out where in the hole you wanna place your finger. I found that at the very bottom, you know, my, my finger don't go in the hole. It just stays on the outside. I figure um, it's right at the bottom. See it? And I just, it's one of them. It just comes right out. You got to find that spot. And she just fires every time. Um, other than that, uh... I love this knife. I love this knife. I, I think this knife is absolutely fantastic. Um, I love all this belly. Um, it is a premium. I mean, just an absolute premium cutter. Um, if you're if you're if you're doing any kind of cutting or if you've got cutting chores, this is the tool uh, that you want. Because I'm telling you, man, the way this blade shape is. And all this belly. This blade is made up of 100% belly. Look at it. That's all belly. You know what I mean? And if you're cutting with this thing, man, I'm telling you, it gets, you know, it gets it done um, in the cutting department. You cannot uh, get a better knife um, as far as cutting because the blade... This high, big, fat belly blade, um, it's just meant, that's what, it, I mean, this blade is meant for serious cutting. I don't have anything around me right now to cut, though. Uh, hold on a minute. Maybe I could, uh, sh I don't even know what I got, you know? I'm supposed to be prepared. Stick with me, guys. Uh, let me try and find something here. I don't know. Uh... Before I start making a mess everywhere. Um, this is a sticky pa uh, note paper. These things, they stink. But anyway, let's see if I could. I mean, you can tell. Even if you listen to all quiet. I mean, it goes through the uh, paper very, very quietly. The cuts are extremely um, not, they're very, very smooth, the cuts. You can feel it. It just, you can see how that thing cuts. I mean, it's very, very, very impressive. Um Now, I did strop them. Like I said, these were stropped. I have been using them. I just wanted to see how it would, how it would react uh, to a strop. And I didn't even put it on a stone. I don't need to put it on a stone yet. Um, I just wanted to see stropping it, how it would, you know, if there were any little uh, catches or little burrs or anything that I couldn't detect. Um, uh, with my eye, um, so I went ahead and just did just a few swipes back and forth. Look at the blade. This one comes up better because it's the black stone wash. That's exactly what I was trying to show you guys right there, man. Look at that. Now that's just dropping... Um, just a few times. I didn't even really take my time. I was in a rush. Um, it could be, it could have been stropped, uh, quite a few times. If I would have took my time, 
I could have really honed this thing in. But look at the bevel. Look at the bevel. Really, really, really nice. And believe it or not, with stropping, with that compound that's on that strop block, I swear, maybe it's me, but I swear it gets a, a semi polish on the blade with that strop block. I'm telling you. Um, that blade, that, sh that edge does not come that sh um, like that. Look at your blade if you have one of these and tell me, is yours that shiny or is it just me in my head? That's like a semi, that's almost like a semi polish, man. And if I took my time, man, man, oh man. Um, that is pretty much the end of my review. My two cents on the growler. And I just think it's a fantastic um it's a fantastic uh knife i really really do and i have been enjoying carrying and cutting with it with all that belly on the blade i didn't look if they're still available man i'd highly recommend uh jumping on one like i said 85 bucks and you won't be disappointed. You really, you, you will have a fantastic cutting tool here. You will have an absolute fantastic cutting tool. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to let you go. You guys be good, be well, be safe. Christmas is here, man. So, Merry Christmas. I'm sure I'll be seeing you guys before then. But anyway, we'll just keep saying it. You guys uh, take care out there, um, and I'll talk to you soon. Be well, guys. Bye-bye.